the finished collections have concluded and the results are very interesting. Now, the Social Democrats have come out on top as expected, but a lot weaker than thought. They secured 17.7% .7 of the vote and 40 seats, which is a lot less than expected. And right behind them is the big surprise of the evening, the Finns, with an actual extra seat from last time. And considering that they only had 17 seats because half of their um, seats um, left the party and founded a new party, the Sin, which only got 1% of the vote, um, they have now a plus of 22 seats and one seat plus from the last election. And they've only lost 0.2%. They were polling at around 9 to 10% a few months ago. That is incredible how they have managed to come back. Behind them in third place is the National Coalition Party, the COC. They received 38 seats and 17% slight losses. The big losers of the, the elections, tonight's biggest loser is the Center Party. They are the agrarian kind of social liberal parties. And they lost 18 seats and 7%. They completely collapsed. Um, uh, another party that you could definitely say, technically, when it comes to how much percentage you have gotten a plus of, then the Green League has won this election. Uh, they received 20 seats, plus 5, 11.5%, and a plus of 3%. That's good for them. I could imagine that there's a few from the center party that voted for them, but I'm not an expert on Finnish politics. Then we have the left alliance with slight, um, with slight plus, and then the Swedish People's Party, which also got in, uh, which is a Swedish party, uh, with nine seats, and then the Christian Democrats with five seats. Also others received two seats, one of them is uh, a special party of Arland, and another one, I don't know. <laughs> Here we have the Sinentule Vaisus, mm -hmm. they received no seats and 1% of the vote. They were up until now uh, in parliament with, I think, 17 or 18 seats, and actually in government as well. That is shocking how bad they, may, or they uh, performed, but uh, they were polling at around that. Now, you can also look here at the uh, best and most favored candidates of all the parties, and we can see here that the leader of the Finns Hala Aho, you see Hala Aho <laughs> came in as the most popular out of all the MPs, which is a great achievement. He stood in Helsinki or Helsing, Helsingin Valipiri. Now again, I do not pronounce things correctly ever, ever when I make these videos, so don't kill me. This is also a nice little graph here. It's a very even parliament, very much, very well split between male and female. A lot of old MPs and a lot of new MPs. Um, it's interesting, probably those new ones are largely some f the ones from the Finns party. And then even the age, this is a pretty young parliament, to be honest, the parliamentarians here that were elected, especially in this age range. Like our parliament here in Austria, like 90% of it is definitely in this region. So, good on you, Finland. So, interesting election. This is the makeup of parliament. What coalitions are possible? <sighs> I mean, a few, but this is going to be similar to Belgium and Netherlands levels of creating a coalition. I can't really make a prediction here. I could imagine that the Social Democrats could work together with the Greens and the left, uh, but that wouldn't have a majority. It's going to be difficult to form a coalition around the Finns. If they can con uh, convince the National Coalition Party, which is a liberal conservative party, and the Center Party, I think they could technically, yeah, they would technically have a majority together. So if they can convince them, maybe get the Swedish People's Party in there as well. I'm just trying to f find all the slightly right wing parties that they would be ready to work with them. But it's probably going to be. Finns in opposition, that's also good. Uh, 
um, they will pro hopefully flourish in the opposition. It is quite astonishing how well they have managed to do at this election. They've won a seat and they've lost only 20%. It's incredible. Uh, <laughs> nobody would have thought this. So it's a pretty big surprise from the actual polls. Anyways, this is everything. Voter turnout was also relatively high at 72%. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.